Red Sea Development Company. We're part of Vision 2030. We're based by the Red Sea and we're developing a number of luxurious hotels and an airport and trying to create an experience for people to come out to um, that part of the world and really appreciate the natural environment that's down there. BIM stands for Building Information Modeling, procuring, managing and exchanging asset level information so that we have a single source of truth, that consistency and quality in terms of data. BIM has allowed us to really investigate different ways of working. So how can we accelerate the use of offsite manufacturing? How can we accelerate the use of uh, design for manufacture and assembly to really help us hit those timelines, but also reduce the impacts that we're going to have one of our commitments is to deliver a 30% net conservation benefit by 2040. Um, so anything that we can do during the construction phase will make that a lot more achievable. The BIM process and defining the responsibility matrices allows us to have the flexibility to assure that the information does not suffer. Most of our designs are bespoke designs, which means that we have a lot of complex design and utilizing BIM have supported us in studying different design options and reduce the time that is associated with those studies. Also, we have enhanced, I uh, would say, the communications between the teams. The real benefits from that have been that we've been able to be really clear with how we want people to work and certainly the, the levels of quality that we're expecting. So uh, as we're starting to hand assets over and certainly with the uh, asset management teams, we were able to hand over good, high quality data sets to those groups of people so that they can start operating these assets in a good practice way. What they really wanted to do is uh, go one step further. They decided to embrace that BIM project level kite mark as well. The project kite mark assures that the whole delivery of our projects are delivered up to that standard, which is the ISO 9650, and they are all compliant to that specific expectation. So it's not just a one-time implementation, it's actually empowering this organization to grow as well. For me as a full journey, uh, it was very helpful, it was friendly. I must say this, you know, their team was superb in terms of their, not only the technical capability, but also willingness, willingness to actually learn. And I think that also then provides another benefit then of building the capability and capacity within the Kingdom to deliver in this way. In a way we're sort of leaving a digital legacy. The BSI's work with Red Sea is a great example of how we support businesses to be more resilient and innovative. And the BSI's mark of trust helps organisations successfully embed international best practices and also ensuring that they consistently deliver against them. The backbone of any organization is the standards, processes and procedures. And PSI has a focused approach, empowering the organization to continuously improve.